Hey, this is Travis here to talk to you guys about another exercise today. I call this a forgotten exercise because it's a great lat and chest builder. I don't see a lot of people doing it in the gym anymore. Uh, definitely not as much as I think it used to be done. And so I wanted to bring that to you guys today and I'll be putting my own sauce on it. As you know, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. So I'll be talking to you guys about some ways to kind of make it a little more interesting and also to maybe make it a little more joint friendly. So if you're interested in how to do this stuff, go ahead and stay tuned and we'll get started. All right, so the exercise I'm gonna be talking to you guys about, I'm gonna use a camber bar. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to. The, the exercise, by the way, I'll go ahead and give you the spoiler now. It's going to be a pullover. Now, there's a dumbbell pullover. There's barbell pullovers. I'm going to use this camber bar. And really, again, that just means that it's curly. I have a camber bar video a few videos back. So check that out if you want to learn a little more about this. Um, you don't have to have this kind of bar, though. Many times, these camber bars are a little bit shorter. Um, they're not you know, as long as a barbell. And they're a little bit thinner. That'll work fine. And then later on in the video, I'll be showing you how to use dumbbells and some other stuff. So... If you, even if you have a straight bar, you know, that'll do the trick for now. And then you can go back to my camber bar video and I'll be talking about why you might want to use a bar like this instead of a straight bar, but a, a straight bar will certainly do the trick. All right, so one of the reasons you probably don't see this exercise done as much, especially with a barbell, is because it is a little awkward to get in a place for it. You kind of have to put your back uh, on a bench, something like when you're going to do a hip thrust kind of maneuver for those of you that know how to do that. Um, most of the time, this is done perpendicular to a bench. You can actually do this lengthwise with a bench and your head is kind of more hanging off the back. Um, I'm gonna show the perpendicular version though just so you guys can get a better visual on it. And then I'll explain why sometimes having a shorter bench uh, going this direction is gonna be beneficial. So what I've done is I've lowered these pins here just so I can rack the bar easily. I'm gonna get down inside of this thing. And then from there, I just take that bar and I've got it in my hands with my back where I'd like it to be. You can decide if you want to be, you know, here or there. You're going to kind of come over the bench a little bit as you lift this thing anyways. And so this exercise sometimes looks kind of like a skull crusher, which is a tricep exercise. The main difference, though, is I'm going to bend my elbows and pretty much keep them there as I lower this down and then bring it back up. And I didn't put any weight on here just so I can show you guys how this works. And so many times the elbows will bend a little bit more as the bar comes over your head, and that's okay. But what I'm really trying to do is squeeze the lats as I pull this over. And so you're going to tend to get your lats quite a bit here, as well as the long head of your triceps. And you can decide how low you feel comfortable going. You know, that obviously does elongate this whole torso area and your back is going to extend somewhat. So for those of you who have some back considerations, this may not be as ideal. And so sometimes you might want to be lengthwise on the bench and you're, so you're lowering it down, your head will be here and you're going over it this way. Um, this is to kind of get a little more of a stretch on the lats, um, which again, you know, if you're trying to increase mechanical tension uh, for muscle hypertrophy or increase in size, um, it's probably a slight advantage. But again, for those of you that can't really tolerate getting into a more extended position, uh, you may want to work on your flexibility a little bit or just start out very light. Um, because, you know, again, when you are using a considerable load going in that position, particularly if you're not used to it, that is sometimes a hard position for the back. But great exercise for the lats. Again, I like using this camber bar because I can kind of turn my elbows in a little bit more than if I was kind of flared out with a standard barbell. And again, you can go back and see the camber bar video uh, for more information on that. But that's basically, in a nutshell, how you do the pullover exercise with a barbell. All right, so you get a little more stability with a barbell, you know, similar to how barbell bench pressing feels versus dumbbells, um, which is one of the reasons why I like sometimes using a barbell when I'm doing pullovers. But a dumbbell is also a great, uh, you know, variation. And so I definitely would do some dumbbells sometimes. And I wouldn't even necessarily say one's better than the other. They're just a little different. And again, you can experiment with both, see which one you like to feel of better. I think it's definitely more important that you're doing one of the variations than none. So dumbbell version, I'll show you how the hand hold goes here. Now, your hands end up kind of forming a little bit of a, of a spade or kind of like a diamond formation here. And um, you, know, you can decide you know, which hand you want to overlap with. I'll often mix it up so that one arm doesn't end up you know, experiencing much of a difference in the range of motion. So sometimes what I'm doing is I'm basically closing my hands together over the, uh, the dumbbell. And so, I'll take this thing, and many times what I'll do actually 
is rather than lowering myself down with it, you know, I can decide if I want to put it on the ground first or hold it here. In this case, I'll just kind of take it with me. And again, sometimes it is a little awkward getting in place on this. So here comes that, you know, kind of spade or diamond handhold, and then up I go. The rest of this is pretty much the same. You know, you come over and back. So again, once my hands are here, it's not too different. And sit down, again, you can decide if you want to drop it off to the side. Sometimes I'll just come off on the ground, lower myself, and then out you go. All right, so the last one I want to show you guys, I don't know if this is an exercise lab exclusive. Um, I'm sure someone else figured out how to do it or has done it. But using a heavy medicine ball is also a pretty cool way to change it up. Now, this is a 50 pound ball, so similar to, you know, in weight to that barbell. I wasn't necessarily trying to go heavy on this. I wanted to show you guys how it works, but you are gonna probably need to use less weight when you're using a medicine ball than the other two because the grip is a lot harder and you're also compressing it. And because you're compressing it, you get what we call horizontal adduction, which is a function of the, of the chest. And so you're actually getting a lot of chest as you're gonna pull this back. And so this has been a pretty cool variation that's nice to also just work your grip too because you really, you know, you don't have the ability to get a good handhold on it like you do with those other bars. And so I'm sort of compressing this and it's clenching down with my fingertips as I'm doing the lat exercise. So this definitely pulls in some more players into the game, but again, for that reason, it is a little more difficult. So, so again, a little, little awkward getting set up here. Basically take this thing in your hands. Now, I can make it a little bit easier by putting my hands underneath it versus if I have my hands purely out inside. So if I really wanted to maximally work my grip and chest, I would have my hands out here. If I want to cut them a little bit of a break, I would kind of come in a little bit more underneath this thing. But then from there, I would sort of work the same way. And you may notice you're going to actually end up shortening the range of motion, at least initially, because it is quite a bit harder handhold. So that's just kind of a cool variation. I don't know that I would say make that a staple. That's just kind of a novelty exercise. As I like to say, sometimes you just want to do a different exercise, challenge multiple muscle groups at the same time. And that's a pretty fun one. Sometimes you can also just do it as a challenge maybe the end of a workout, you're working out with a training buddy, hey, let's see how many of these we can get. It definitely gets it going, it'll get you burned out pretty good, and I think it's a fun variation. So that's the one I call the heavy medicine ball pullover. All right, so that was just sort of a short and sweet one for today. I wanna to talk to you about a cool exercise I haven't seen in the gyms as much anymore. Because again, when I'm extending my arm this way, you know, I'm basically taking that big fan sheet muscle here called the lat, and I'm putting it on stretch. I also get the long head of my triceps, and so, Long head, tricep, lats, you know, great muscles to get into. Also get some pecs as well, because you're basically in line with those muscle fibers as well. So, you know, you're not gonna necessarily do pullovers and expect by itself to build you up a big chest, but I think it's a great addition to, again, the standard conventional, what I call the meat and potato exercises, which again are gonna be your heavy, you know, bench press variations, you know, your, your horizontal rows, uh, certainly, you know, your, your pulling type movements like pull-ups, and then you add in some pullovers, not necessarily in the same workout, but over the course of, say, your, you know, your routine or your week, however you're structuring your workouts, and I think it's just a great addition. So definitely be one of those exercises I'm going to keep in my routine, and I'd encourage you guys to do the same, and if you haven't ever done it before, give it a try. Again, if you find the back position to be a little awkward, going perpendicular to the bench, just go lengthwise, and that's fine as well. Um, no harm there. You're really not losing out on much. Because you're more stabilized, you just don't get quite as much of a stretch. So just briefly show you guys, if I were to do a pullover this way, you know, because my back is more flat versus when I am perpendicular, you know, that back, I'm at a little bit more of an arch. Now, you certainly could come into some sort of a bridge position here. You know, you can mix it up a few different ways, but I don't have any back considerations. I try the perpendicular version. See what you think of that. And uh, as usual, let me know what you guys think below. Feel free to give me some comments or some feedback. If there's any new material you guys want to see, I'll also be trying to pull in some other exercises um, that are kind of old school uh, bodybuilding exercises with sort of a new school or, you know, my own take on it. And so that stuff's all in the pipeline. And so as always, I hope you guys have some fun.